This is the Fields K1 World Grand Prix 2009 quarterfinal match number two. Now making his entrance from the blue stage, here is Everton. Teixeira! Training out of Team Ichigeki with Fife Lamoy, Jason Vermoa, the Kiwi Connection. Babu de Silva also his main sparring partner over the last six weeks. Zug Vani, the former K1 USA champion. Takumi Sato, a big entourage here for Everton Teixeira. The winner of the ninth full contact karate world tournament. He won the world tournament by breaking his opponent's thigh with the Gida Mwashigeri, a low roundhouse kick which is what Alistair Overeem has to be careful of here tonight. And also the beautiful counter right cross that Teixeira possesses. A K1 record of seven and one, two knockouts, 33% KO ratio. Kokushin third down, black belt Teixeira, 27 years old, comes off a lackluster extra round decision win over Singhart JD at the final 16 in Seoul. Before that had a decision over Jerome Labana in March. from the red stage, Alistair, the Hyper Dutch Cyclone. Over and... So many questions about Alistair. The ring in the ring. This is going to be interesting. Let's go up to Michael Buffer. Scheduled for three three-minute rounds. K-1 rules apply. Introducing Hurst, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands 190 centimeters tall, official weight 104.6 kilograms. He's the K1 World Grand Prix 2008 tournament winner from Brazil, Sao Paulo, Brazil, Everton. Babu de Silva, Jason Vermoa, Fai Falamoy in the corner. The ring, fighting out of the red corner. Standing 195 centimeters tall. Oh my God, way, that is not human, that physique. Kilograms. He comes to us from yeah, Amazon. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely. Holland. It's he's Ubering. It's Ubering. I'm sorry, I'm losing my voice. My guy is still recovering from the excitement of Bada Hari. Look at the size of the ream. Coming off that win over Peter Ertz, he broke Peter Ertz's ribs in the opening minute of that fight at the final 16. Had that stunning win over Bada Hurry at Dynamite last New Year's Eve under K1 rules. And the Ream in his first ever Grand Prix appearance, Everton Teixeira in his second. He didn't get out of the quarterfinal stage last year, Teixeira. Teixeira with the bookmakers at plus 350 for the win. Over him at minus 500. The voice, Michael Chavello, Sugar Ray Sefo, Mike Kogan with your inside three by three. One extra round in case of a draw. Two knockdowns in one round, and the fight is over. Who will face but a hurry in semi final number one? Evidence of Shedder's got to go to the legs, and he's got to counter with that beautiful right cross. The ream will look to manhandle, to thug and bully Everton Teixeira. Over in Southport, Teixeira in Orthodox. The serious game plan at the moment is, uh, which I've spoken to fire in the, they're going to counter fight over in the first round and then bring it on in the second round. Of course, Teixeira, a sparring partner of Sugar Rain. Nice high, Mawashi Gedi off the rear leg there from Teixeira. Ninth World Open Kyokushin Karate Champion. Short range knee from over him. Now he'll look to bully. And the referee calls break, brings it back to center in. Over him, who said he will run through the Grand Prix like a hot knife through butter. Over him is humongous. I mean, my God, he looks like he's getting bigger and bigger with every show. 
could show a movie on his chest. Inside side kick from Everton, then goes to the outside lead thigh. Oh, it's over! It's the night I read! Oh, is out cold! Open the fridge, he's out cold! Oh, no! That knee landed right flush on the chin. That was awesome from the rain! But that is as gruesome a knockout as I have ever seen! That is unbelievable. But you know what uh, Alistair did right after right after he just walked up over to the uh, ringside and pointed to Simon Roots, Balahari's manager, and said, I'm coming to see you guys. Balahari just beat Karayev in 36 seconds. I think Overeem just sent a message backstage and said, Bada, I did it even quicker. Unbelievable. You know, Overeem, um, aside from fighting in Dream, is also a strike force heavyweight champion and is destined to meet Fedor sometime next year in the Strike Force event. So he's definitely sending some stand-up messages here to not just uh, Badahari, but other fighters uh, throughout the world that are ready to fight him. The Ream has done it. And all those fight fans around the world, Rob Hoffman in Waterloo, Ontario, Billy McGreen in Columbus, Ohio, Brendan Towers, Hammond in Newcastle, Australia. Christopher Little also in Ontario, Canada. All of them tipped Alistair Overeem to win the Grand Prix here tonight. And look at that. He looked like he killed Teixeira with one knee. A smack bang on the kisser. Teixeira out cold before he even hit the canvas. That was just violence. Absolutely. I mean, like, he threw that first knee and the second knee. You know, Everton obviously relaxed a little bit. And when you got a guy who's hanging on your head, you can't relax in there because the second knee, which Alistair, you know, have it, uh, thrown, it's going gonna, gonna to land. Well, I don't know if he relaxed or if that knee got him where he dropped his elbow to try to well, block the second too, possible yeah. knee coming in. Well, kind Herb watching in Hawaii also tipped the ream. He'll be happy, folks. Coming up next, quarterfinal number three. We told you it'll be a violent Grand Prix. It's the battling cyborg Lebena and the Hightower Semi-Shield. <laughs>